There are a number of different ways to mark bust art placement on your fabric. The way that I find easiest and most accurate for home sewists is to cut along one line of your paper pattern here on the Wolfwork pattern that's going to be the gray line for the bust start. One here, it can be the bottom one or the top one, it doesn't matter. And to fold this up after you have cut out the rest of your pattern piece. For those who are new sewists, whatever you do, don't cut your fabric along these gray lines. So, once you've folded this up like this, you can take your fabric chalk, fabric pen, whatever you're using, and draw lines to mark dart placement here. You might want to lift your paper pattern up to be sure that your line transferred clearly. And then you'll want to flip it over and do the same thing for your other pattern piece because you have two front pieces, right? Make sure that you're marking both on the wrong side. To sew the bust start, you're going to fold the wrong side of the fabric from this point, this tip here, to the point here at the apex of the dart. You can finger press. You want to make sure that the lines you marked are lining up at the edge here from this point to this point. You can finger press, or if you want to be really accurate, you can machine press to get this line nice and straight. Now, to sew the bust start, I'm going to sew exactly along the line that I marked, but when I get to the tip of the dart, I'm going to curve a little bit this way and have the last half inch of the dart or so running almost parallel to this fold here. So I'm going to start by back stitching just a little bit. And now I'm stitching along the dart line. At this point, I'm going to start to curve away from the line just a little bit. Go as slowly as you need. And I think I have about a half inch left at this point, so I should be very close to parallel to the fold here. Okay. When I hit that final point tip at the edge of the dart, I'm not going to snip my threads. I'm going to lift my presser foot, pull it out, and cut the threads, leaving a long enough tail so that I can tie them. So here are my two threads. I'm going to tie a knot right around the fold of the fabric there. And as you can see, I have a gentle curve and the last little bit is almost parallel to the fold of the fabric. So the final step is to take these and snip.
The final step for the bust dart is to press it. I recommend using a tailor's ham or another rolled up piece of fabric to help keep that shape that the dart is creating in the fabric. So if I put my piece over the ham so that the dart is smooth, push it down, the edge of the dart should line up with the edge of the fabric here. I'm looking at the wrong side of the fabric here. Go ahead and press that down. I like to turn it around to the right side and press again, just to be really certain that I'm getting it nice and clean and flat. And there you have it. And you can tell that it's creating that shape in the fabric that you want it to, but that it's not pointy. It's nice and rounded because we did that curve.